science shows. But once you get into 100 genders, people can yeah, literally... Yeah, we're not debating 100 genders. Well, actually, the BBC has taught kids... That. This is back to Douglas's point yes. about, you know, affecting the brains of impressionable young kids. Well, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with the BBC if they're saying okay. 100 plus genders. OK, okay. Douglas. Uh, very quickly, I, I don't know, Ava, anything about your career. Um, I don't know if you have one. What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we have a new video, guys. This is Piers Morgan, and this is a show I want us to check out together. This is an interview. This is in news. I would love us to check out together, guys. Let's get right into it. The schools should not be tolerating But it. the schools a are not. A teacher should not be saying, if you don't... But if you believe there are, that women have vaginas and men have penises, you have to leave the school. That is complete nonsense. No. Right? In this particular case, the Telegraph cited this handful of examples. They were by teachers, individual teachers. Mm. They were not school policy. And at least one case, the school disowned the teacher and the policy and said that it wouldn't happen but again. But what about this case in Rye, Co in Rye College? Well, yeah, I'm sure there are some examples of excesses. But on the basis of, of those exceptions, you can't make a generalised attack upon the school system and suggest that all our kids are being propagandised in this way because it's simply not well, When you hear happening. that teacher, I think, uh, to bring uh, Douglas back in, when you hear that teacher, there's clear evidence of what we've all yes. been fearing has been going on, which is a teacher caught on tape literally spewing nonsensical gender ideology propaganda. But one teacher. Yes, only right, one teacher. Way, one teach of tens of thousands. Well, hang on. Um, one teacher caught on I tape. Think Right? Yeah. There have been many other instances I, of this being reported, true. but no one's actually had it on tape. It's a bit like I would liken it to the Partygate scandal when we finally got a video of the people having what was clearly. Yeah, according to what Piers Morgan said, one teacher was caught on tape because there are a couple of others that were not caught on tape that has been propagating this agenda. But right now we have one teacher who was caught on tape because a lot of people might have reported, but they won't take it serious because there was no evidence. But now one teacher is caught on tape, that means they have to take this matter very serious. So it's going to repeat itself. I love what Piers Morgan is saying, and that is exactly how it should be. It's really, really smart of him. He, the other gentleman saying one teacher, you don't need two teachers. <laughs> one teacher caught on tape is enough for you to make sure that this should not repeat itself again. Your party. There have been lots of rumours about it. So now we have a teacher... Clearly on tape, doing this. But stuff. it's not official school so, policy. Uh, if I Schools may, across if the I country. Well, not, she's still, to I'm my knowledge, this. she is still working at that school. Douglas. If I may, uh, first of all, uh, Ava rather um, unfortunately misspoke earlier when she said that the uh, schoolgirl in question was acting out of fallacy. I think you meant a fantasy. But actually, she is acting Thanks, out of fallacy. Douglas. Thanks, ever a so fallacy. much. <laughs> but do you know a what? Fallacy, I find fallacy, right with fallacy. Been, do you know what's fascinating about Douglas? A fallacy which has been propagated. A fallacy which has been propagated by gender ideologues and is doing profound damage to gay people, among others, in our society, as well as women. Like and you let me ever explain cared. very quick. Let ever me explain very quickly why. I can't quite hear you, but I can hear you muttering something. Let me quickly explain why. A poll that just got published in the United States showed that among the general population, support for gay marriage has been starting to decline in the last year. Why is that? It's because the arguments that actually brought about liberal rights for all minorities in the last few decades have started to get turned on their head and turned against people. What is the source of that? It is the gender ideology movement. Mm -hmm. What is the tripwire for the general public? It is children. It is people learning that their children are being taught nonsensical things. It is being True. seen by the wider public, most of whom are heterosexual and don't need to identify as cis or anything else. It is being seen from that vantage point as the LGBTQIA plus movement losing control of itself. And so a backlash is starting. And the backlash is coming because people are lying to children and are using children for medical experiments. There's nothing oh, funny ridiculous. about that. There's nothing that, that should cause levity in that. It should be treated by adults seriously. OK, no, Ava. So, Douglas, it's really important, actually, all of that point that you've just brought up, it's very on brand for you because, you know, you like to stoke fear. You've actually made a career out of it. We are, you know, I'll take you I, back to your book, The Strange Death Ava. of Europe, and you made a big fright, you know, you frightened the entire public about your thoughts on Europe, and we ended mm. up in Brexit. You weren't the sole... That was not a question that was asked there. Why is she going back to his book to make sure it's, like, it really doesn't make any sense? Like, tackle what is the point. Is it saying the truth or is it what to say not, not true? Like, tackle what's there right there. 
the decline of LGBTQ plus, a lot of people are backing out because of what is really happening. That using children to test this gender identity of a thing is getting really, really more serious, and people are backing out. That is a question. That is the that is the matter on the table that she should tackle, not carrying him to his book. Contributes to that, but you yeah. were a big Can we voice stick on to the, the I will, I will. I and then, you know, so now we're quickly. talking about LGBTQ, if I may say so and you're very creating. Quickly, Hang Piers. on, you spoke. You spoke. Uh, I'm speaking. Well, uh, no, I'm speaking. I'll, I'll you spoke. Reply. This is. A, I mean, and I'll reply. Hello. Let, I haven't let finished. Ava speak, please. Douglas. Now, back on the trans issue, when you're talking about LGBTQ, what you've just done there is basically say that the whole of America, who have historically had a problem with gay marriage, are now turning no. on it because a couple of children no. in a classroom in Sussex want to be a cat. No, if you can't no, see the no. ridiculousness in that argument, I can't help you. No. The bigger well, issue is all, there is no such thing Ava, as gender yes. ideology. We I all have gender to identities. To you identify as a man. And I fully respect you. Well, no, no, hang on. I don't identify no. as a man. I was born a biological yes, male. Yes. That's where this whole Thank thing you. Here you need goes, to let me goes come rogue. In. I'll bring you back in, Douglas, as I want to say. That's where the whole debate goes rogue. You were born a biological male. You were born a biological female. Douglas, biological male. The, this is just a fact. Right? No. Once you start saying there are hundreds of genders and you can identify as anything you want, no. you're going to end up with kids yeah. at school going, I'm a horse, and you've got to treat me like a horse. It appears you're confusing two things. No, I'm not. Sex and gender. I'm not. I accept they are being conflated. Biological sex is one thing which I totally accept, and so do 99% of the people in the LGBT plus community. Gender is something different. Gender identity is how you see yourself. And, and do, you believe course, it's, do you believe it's limitless? No, I don't believe it's limitless. What's the limit? Well, there was basically male and female and intersex, but there are people who have different gender identities. No, but how many genders are there? Well, I, 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 there is no fixed number. So what's the limit? I don't there's see stumbles. a particular there's limit. There's stumbles. There's no limit. So, I, I, so when I, you said there's no, you no, said there is a limit. I, now I, you admit there's no limit. No, sorry. Well, there, there is male and female. Is identity. there a limit or not there's the number of genders? Identity. No, that's that's sex. But on but, gender, is there a? Whenever they're being asked that question, there's stumbles and lows. Like. That, that, if you observe anyone in LGBTQ+, plus, if the stumbles a lot when they're being asked that question. Is there any limits to the gender ideology, to gender identity? Is there any limits? No, they're only stumbles. Yes, no. Every time you notice them, they are a bit confused. Every single time. They meet a number of genders. Well, there are, there are some people who are asexual. That's an identity. No, no. There are, some the, BBC, people... the BBC has yeah. put in education videos. There are 100 plus genders. Well, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with so that. So what is the limit? What's the number? Well, I'm not going to specify a particular number, but it's, right. a ve it's very small. But where, it's do very you draw, small. where do you draw the line? Well, I draw the line based on science and evidence. And we know that there is a thing called intersex, mm. where people are born with a mixture of both that male... That is literally what it says both, on... Both that's what it says on the team. That is intersex. Yeah. People are born with, with chromosomes from both, yeah. right? That is a medical condition. Yeah. That's inarguable. Right, we're talking about gender. Well, well Douglas, trans identity uh, is also a biological fact. I know, but once I... Do, rooted, I know. rooted in brain structures and processes... I understand it. But once as people, the new science shows. But once you get into 100 genders, people can yeah, literally... Yeah, we're not debating 100 genders. Well, actually, the BBC has taught kids... That. This is back to Douglas's point yes. about, you know, affecting the brains of impressionable young kids. Well, I don't agree with that. I don't agree with the BBC if they're saying 100-plus okay. genders. OK, Douglas. Uh, very quickly, I, I don't know, Ava, anything about your career. Um, I don't know if you have one. Uh, but you did try to imply that you knew something about mine and you just showed you know nothing about it because actually my 2017 bestseller, The Strange Death of Europe, was not about the EU. So you should learn at some point to read more than the title of the book before Europe. commenting upon it. Was it was about, and it was about uh, so migration, me, but let me, but and let it me was. Very quickly, and how let rude me are you? Quickly, how rude are you? Very quickly... Very you quickly, built a career me, out of fear-mongering, and you're now importing this evangelical American ideas onto UK you television. It's very odd. You haven't even built a career, you haven't even built a career have you? You haven't what even built a career. What are you talking about? I'm on so the same panel as you, hon, and we're getting the same... Do you know so, what? I'm going to wrap so it up by saying you're, you've both got wonderful careers or you wouldn't be on Piers Morgan Uncensored. I think Douglas was a bit pissed over what she said, so he had to tackle that back again. But exactly what I was saying is this gender ideology and gender identity, it's very, very serious because kids will start seeing yourself, okay, I identify as a dog or as a horse. It's really, really serious that we should tackle this, that it should not increase more than this. And people who are LGBTQ plus A, I don't know how long the, the word is, but they should not carry their ideology to kids. That is when we always say, like, there's a line to everything. If you believe in that, you keep it to yourself. 
teachers should not teach our kids about LGBTQ plus a you are in the wrong body and you're not in the wrong body, you're in the right body, you're not in the right body. What should be taught in school is what we all learned while growing up. That is what should be taught in school. Don't carry the LGBTQ narrative to kids. That is when um, we all say that's enough. One teacher that was caught in, on camera um, debating or arguing with kids about, oh, you, you should not tell her she's in the wrong body, she's in the right body, she used to be LGBTQ+. Those are the things we should tackle. Teachers should not be teaching our kids about LGBTQ plus narrative. It should not be taught in school. It's those ideologies should not be carried to our kids. We brought our kids to school to learn, not to learn about LGBTQ plus because such mess with kids bring while they are young and they will start seeing themselves as such while growing up. So that is what we are talking about. Don't carry the such narrative of LGBTQ plus to kids. As what is all about, one teacher has been caught on camera. We should not allow two to be caught on camera before we know what exactly what to do. We should stop that narrative immediately. So this show was very interesting and I kind of like, okay, Piers Morgan spoke his mind on Douglas, also the lady and also the other man who said he does not agree with BBC over 100 genders. This is an amazing conversation they had. Comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up, share this video as many as you can, subscribe to our channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag, like an old lady. I'm back, wood smoking. I don't own papers, pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales all over.